Hello there, my name is Ismaus, and today let's look at uh, how I made this uh, HUD uh, display thing. And uh, basically, I just got uh, the texture from Google, and uh, let me just find the material. Okay, this is uh, the material setup. It's very, very basic. Uh, so we start off with uh, this. Uh, so I know that. I uh, will start off with, uh, where is that? Yeah, so we start off with this, uh, the, the texture itself. Uh, so I got this from Google and uh, make sure that I have the material, the mesh UV unwrapped uh, so that you can place this uh, very easily. And then uh, what I did, uh, because you can see it's not an alpha channel image, uh, it's uh, a JPEG. Uh, so I want, but I wanted to have it uh, transparent. I wanted the shader to be transparent. So what I did is uh, pushed it through uh, an add shader and uh, that kind of uh, changed it into a black and white image and I can control uh, the black and white areas using this value here. Uh, so that means that uh, the black areas are going to be transparent and then uh, the white areas are going to be opaque. And uh, I also use that as my emission uh, mask. So you can see. So now I fed this into, uh, you can fit this directly into the alpha channel uh, so that you have uh, the black areas black and then the white areas white uh, but uh, because I wanted to have some control over uh, how transparent uh, the uh, the material was was going to be I, I used this uh, with a mix RGB curve so with a mix, mix RGB uh, node uh, that way I can control uh, this this being the factor uh, this mask here being the factor I can control how transparent or how opaque uh, the mesh is so you can see this is fed directly into the alpha and uh, now I can easily control how transparent or how opaque uh, the entire display is then I also use this as a factor for the emission uh, input and uh, now I can control uh, the color using this node here and you also notice that uh, my value uh, is a bit high uh, that way I can get a very strong emission power uh, otherwise the default is set to one which you can see is very very low so that's why I push this to a value of five a value of five you can see that now it's strong enough and I can change uh, the color to whatever I want uh, then what else what else what else yeah, so that is uh, connected directly into the emission uh, node. And I also made sure that color one is set to black so that it's not emissive. And remem remember that uh, are we getting, we are using this, this input here as our mask. So the black areas are not going to be emissive. And let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, but uh, if you change uh, the color here, you can see the also that area starts becoming emissive so you want to make sure that that stays black uh, then I made sure also to reduce the roughness so that it's a bit reflective you can see it doesn't give you much but uh, yeah uh, basically I think that's it let me see what I did there yeah that's it I just also fed this input here directly into uh, the base color uh, though it's, uh, it doesn't have alpha the mask we created here is cutting out any uh, parts uh, that we don't we don't want to be opaque um, and then yeah I think that's it uh, these other nodes are not uh, necessary uh, therefore I want if I wanted to add uh, some uh, uh, cracks or s scratches I'll just use uh, those nodes but uh, I don't think I use them anywhere uh, so let's see can just connect them directly here to have some bit of roughness let me see if it comes through you can see it from uh, different angles you can see but I didn't think it was uh, it, I don't I didn't think it was looking very good so that's why you see I removed it I uh, just that I have something clean I uh, like that and uh, if you wanted to add them uh, it's just uh, uh, just these scratches that you can find on Google are uh, mixed with this uh, grunge map uh, using the mix RGB uh, curve. 
and uh, nothing fancy so uh, basically since i'm not using them i'll just remove them entirely so that is not very confusing again i'll be sharing these materials all these materials i'm showing you uh, are for free yeah so that's it i think uh, in the next story i can show you how i made these banners slide thank you